Who Would Win of the Week, presented by 13 Monkeys All-American Whiskey. Uh, this week, it is... Um, I can't remember what we decided. Um, oh, Rafi. So, this week, it's Rafi from the league versus Gary Busey. Yes. The Gary Busey. Let me tell you, I know Gary Busey would win this fight. I'm going to tell you that straight up. <laughs> Stupid. No, I'm positive. Childish and let immature. Me cite, let me cite... My my. Obviously, you let me show my work league. here. Obviously, you haven't watched enough Entourage. I can't believe I've watched a lot of Entourage, all of it, multiple times, and the movie. Remember the episodes in Entourage? There's two of them that feature Gary Busey. It's yeah. when Turtle like fucks up his sculpture. Yeah, because then- he has the party and he's on the beach. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Gary Busey like shows a side of himself that I do think is crazy. But is like very like, you gotta become a tree if you want to learn how to fly like a bird. Yeah, you know what I mean. That shit. If he start, that shit would work on Rafi immediately. Rafi would be worshiping at the feet of Gary Busey, primed up to be kicked in the teeth by his size so, twelves. So I'm assuming here's Gary the Busey's thing, though. Shoe sizes here's the thing: is I don't, I don't disagree with you that something like that would work with Gary Busey. But and you kind of see this in Entourage talking about that. That kind of weird, crazy, like, energy that he finds, he, like, forgives. Okay. Rafi doesn't forgive. He and does. Rafi doesn't forget. No. Got it. So, I honestly think that if they were kind of, like, about to fight and Gary Busey started saying that stuff and Rafi felt like – was, like, really into it and got down on his knees – after, like, five minutes, Rafi would be like, what the fuck? Like, what's happening? Like, you're not kicking me in the face, and I'm not feeling any, like, no, more well, majestic. And then Rafi would just just be off the walls stabbing people, shooting people, eating pocket dogs. Like, it doesn't matter. Sure. But I do think when that happens, because you know what? I think you might be you might be right there. There, There's a potential for Rafi to be, you know, seduced for a little bit by Gary's musings and then go off later. Um, but when that happens, I think that Gary Busey definitely is not really shocked by it. Like he keeps his cool when things are sprung on him like that by surprise. So I think that he would, because I do, I, I also think that so much of Rafi's, um, high Rafi's potential to win is dependent on his, his high energy. Right. And, uh, and based on, I mean, literally every, uh, interaction he's had with people when he goes like that, they act a certain way. Busey would not act that way. Again, I think it would throw Rafi off, probably bringing him right back to that sedated, seduced state. Go ahead. I don't agree mm-hmm. because when you said he was, he'd be on the ground to get kicked in the teeth. I think he'd kick him in the teeth, and he'd basically be like, "That's it." Yeah, <laughs> and I. You would just sure. I sure. agree with you. Like, nuts. I don't think. His, his, I think a lot of a lot of times when we talk factor. about the movement of the week, it is a factor of like how somebody's gonna get in somebody else's head. I don't think that matters for Rafi. I don't think it does because like, he's already in his own. Yeah, head. he's just a crazy person. True, and like you see that a lot throughout the show. Also, he's the type of person where things go over his head, but in a way where he knows that somebody's insulting him. He just doesn't understand why. So then he just like starts firing back random mm-hmm. shit. And I think that his random shit that he would say would get Gary Busey just as riled up as you think Gary Busey could get Rafi riled up. And I think, well, I don't think the, he'd get him riled up. I think he'd sedate him. Well, I don't think there's such thing as sedating him. Oh, I think absolutely. Oh. No. I think even a sedated Rafi isn't truly sedated. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Pardon me. But he wouldn't be able to get Busey in those moments. Nah, see, I don't agree with that. I don't think – because even in Rafi's calmest moments on the outside, he's not. There's nothing calm going on on the inside. Like, he's only one breath away from – Doing something ridiculous. But I do think that Gary Busey's patience and, again, the fact that I really don't think he would be thrown off by these random spurts of blah, 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 um, I, st- I still think that he would be able to react in a very beneficial way to Rafi counteract Rafi. doesn't live Rafi. within the rules of society. No, sure. he doesn't. And, and maybe Busey does, but I think that he, and perhaps not... 
perhaps only in his own mind, but Busey understands that kind of energy. And I don't care how many times how we would have to tell those. Rafi that there's no weapons allowed. He would try to always, stab always Gary Busey weapons. with at sure. least at least three different times with three different knives, mm-hmm. and we would take a different knife away from him each time, and he would find somewhere else to pull another knife out of and try to stab Gary Busey. I'm not saying he would win within the rules, but he would win right. this fight. No, well, I mean, is, it, is it to the death, or is it just... Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. much. We, because yeah. I'm pretty sure that it would be Gary Busey not to the death, and Rafi would be going... Rafi always for goes the, the throat. Yeah, Rafi, Rafi's there's always multiple the times where it's yeah. like you can't leave until somebody's dead. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's true. And just simple stuff. Yeah, just very simple. Yeah, stuff. just hanging out. That's that's his that's his Wednesday mm-hmm. afternoon. Yeah, Rafi always goes to the death. He does. He, he does goes to too. the extreme, and he means it. Yeah, yeah, he does. But Busey has that side of him. I think when his. Like he wouldn't want to kill Rafi, I but think, when he re- when he does see that that's the only way, I, he'd have no problem. I think Gary Busey has a lot of bark. I think it is more bark than bite too. I think he has some craziness in him, and he definitely looks like a crazy person. He is a crazy but person. Rafi can out crazy anybody. has all the bite. Mm-hmm. Sure, he will bite. Like Rafi will be using his teeth in this fight. He'll do anything. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's that's true, um, but I think that Busey can like <laughs> he Busey. I don't think has to match that energy to win. He has to channel it to his advantage. Does like, that make sense? In in Rafi's apartment in the show, he has a sink slash <laughs> toilet, toilet. Yeah, and his, where he it's clogged because he killed his landlord's cat in the sink slash toilet and his landlord's looking for the cat so he just continues to use the clogged sink slash toilet because the landlord's looking for the cat and he tells the landlord i don't know where your fucking cat is and then the landlord leaves and he says his cat is the reason my sink toilet is clogged well yeah because he leaves he's like i need you to unclog my toilet and he goes guess what he's gonna find when he (laughs) he unclogs the toilet is his His cat cat. (laughs) his cat and he says it like it's hysterical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Rafi's a psychopath, but I think that Gary Busey, more than your standard person, is prepared to deal with that type of guy yeah, but, that Rafi but is. but Rafi's not your standard psychopath. He kind of is. No. No. I mean, it's not like he's Patrick Bateman, but, like, he's he's a lunatic. He's yeah. a crazy person. But there's nobody – I don't think anybody is like, oh, you're best he's suit to deal with all lunatics because all lunatics are – different they're lunatics because they do sure things. Each, each lunatic is yeah. like a snowflake uh-huh. Mm-hmm. uh-huh exactly that's fair and i think that this particular lunatic Busey, would be able to catch him on his tongue catch him on his tongue <laughs> i disagree with you <laughs> and my head hurts well we i mean we can stop it right there we'll go around i think we've we've put it all out on the table for yeah. this once uh i mean i think it's pretty obvious what's going to happen and i think here. that gary Busey, like i think he is pretty strong Rafi like, i doesn't think he feel could fight pain. sure but like well, eventually to add, he'd be incapacitated to add one more thing mm-hmm. that also happened in the league was when taco hired rafi to be the psycho sexual rapist with the do you right. remember that yeah yeah, yeah remember yeah, yeah, that yeah. episode yeah and he goes to ruxton and he's like he's like i don't he's like i don't know if i should take this role or not he goes no you should totally take this role he's like well i wasn't going to but if you think it's a good idea i'll do it <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah and he's and he, then he was doing the creepy stuff outside the house and really taking it to the next right, level definitely taking it to the next yes. level but i would like to cite the point in that story where rafi is kind of manipulated by ruxton very easily Sarcastic. Yeah, but and Ruxin's that's a, and also, that's but the Ruxin's also master manip- manipulator. Yes, Ruxin's he is. not in this that, that, The whole yeah. basis of that episode was that no one can tell when Ruxin is being sarcastic. Right, right, so right. It, I do remember so that. So that is... Yeah, I, think my, I think my point still stands, though, nah. because I think Busey would be able to do the same thing. I don't. Especially to uh, the personality type that Rafi is. Well, let's lock it in. Okay. I'm going with Rafi. I'm also going to go with Rafi. I'm locking in Gary Busey. All right. Well, Call me crazy, obviously, uh, but Andrew, that was the theme. welcome to the winning side. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Um, honorable mention was Corbin Blue versus a Cordon Blue. Yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> yeah.